To the naked eye, this small college town nestled in the heart of Michigan's western upper peninsula seems like any other campus. Students traveling from class to class, others working diligently on homework. But on the eighth floor of the Electrical Energy Resources Center, scientists are trying to make a historic breakthrough. And uh, we are using this room to conduct our experiments. For the last four years, Professor Elena Simushkina and grad student Zhao Wang have been bringing us one step closer to making objects and people invisible. We are developing several approaches to cloaking, not just one. At least four different approaches we are developing here in this lab. It's so interesting to be kind of part of, of doing some magic here. Just a decade ago, the idea of cloaking was mere fantasy, only seen in the movies. But the cloak made in this lab is quite different than the one found at Hogwarts. Here it is, a small styrofoam ring with 200 tiny ceramic resonators buried inside. If you know that you are expecting the wave of specific wavelength, specific frequency, you can be protected and basically the cloaks can be created already. The wavelengths being used in this lab are microwaves. And here's how the cloak works. When the waves travel through space and hit the cloak, they are diverted around the resonators making it virtually impossible for radars to detect the metal cylinder on the inside. And while it still doesn't make the object invisible to the eye, this development is groundbreaking. And scientists believe that this is the first step to creating an optical illusion to make things invisible. So what would Harry Potter think? Would this cloak work for him? If Harry Potter is put inside a cylinder, right? And, it's, and he's illuminated by a red light, okay? or better infrared, you know, night vision device, then it's actually already possible. And while Harry Potter will never get to try on one of these cloaks, it may not be long until this technology finds itself at the center of everyday life. For the scientific world, it has very wide potential applications, for example, in law enforcement, uh, security areas. Michigan Tech is on the forefront of this cutting edge technology have already received widespread national interest. They have already been approached by various organizations to help develop new technology and have been featured in some of science's most prestigious publications. The interest is still on the high level and it's, it did not fade out yet and the work is ongoing in many groups.